Hi everyone, this is Brian Gundy from For Goodness Snakes. Uh, this particular snake just finished laying her last egg a few minutes ago and, um, and anticipating a nice big clutch. This is a first year female. This is a possible het pied bred to a pied. And um, as you can see, she has a very unique pattern. I like to call this the jaguar pattern. I have another one uh, that's a possible het uh, female. A possible head pine female that um, ha even has a more aberrant or more unique pattern than this one. But I'm hoping to produce some pines from this clutch. And um, I've been uh, this year. I've tried some new techniques on uh, feeding my uh, breeding females to hopefully entice them to produce more follicles. Uh, more follicles will then produce more eggs. So we're going to be watching these animals as the season progresses to see if I'm able to produce some pretty big clutches from these females. This female only weighed um, 1,700 grams um, about at the time that she ovulated, so this is not a big female. But um, I'm pretty sure I've got nine eggs in here, at least that's what I palpated. So I'm going to go ahead and remove her, uh, hopefully without getting bit. And... See what we end. See what we end up with. All right. Looks like three, six, eight eggs out of a first-year female. That's pretty good. So um, let's see. It's May sixth. These eggs will take about fifty-five days to hatch, and um, hopefully, we'll produce some pies from this. Clutch. Also, to let you guys know, um, the newcomers to breeding, um, what I'm going to do with this female now is I'm going to wash her off, uh, soap and water, rinse her real well, try to basically get the scent of these eggs off of her, put her in a totally different tub, and um, a new water bowl, new newspaper, everything, and try to get this scent off her so I can actually get her back into eating. Uh, as soon as possible. If I didn't get that, if I didn't, <laughs> if I didn't get that scent off of her, uh, there's a very good possibility that she will keep um, that um, that odor on her and that she will not go back on food. So I'm going to put her in the sink for now and uh, see if we can get these eggs to separate. And again, orientation is very important. Well, let's see. And this is, I'm putting them into my nest box here. This is a um, box with a one to one ratio by weight with water. I'm just going to put these in here. It looks like they're all viable eggs. Whoa. Okay. Stuck to the paper. That's fine. Hope that I didn't turn that egg too much. It's okay, girl. Stay down here.